Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I have the new Xiaomi 50 watt 2 in 1 charger power bank 1A1C. This is a new smart charger from Xiaomi and this is a 2 in 1 smart charger that means that it has a charger as well as a power bank and it is rated at a total of 50 watts. It has one USB A and one USB C output that's why the name 1A1C. And in today's video, I'm going to do a comprehensive review of all these features. The rated capacity of the power bank is 6700 mAh at 3.6 volts and at 5 volts it is 3500 mAh and I'm going to test whether it can achieve this capacity. So coming to the specifications of the charger and power bank, it has a total of 50 watts output out of which the USB-C port can support up to 45 watts of maximum output and the USB port A can support up to 27 watts of maximum output. And when both the USB-C and the USB port A are used simultaneously, the USB-C can support 45 watts as usual, but the USB port A can support only 5 watts output. That means the total power of the charger is 50 watts. So that is the charger output specifications. And coming to the power bank output specification, the rating is only 18 watts for both USB-C and USB port A. And if both are used at the same time, it can support only up to 12 watts of maximum power output at 5 volts. Both the charger output as well as the power bank output is quite great. And coming to the rated capacity, it is rated at 3500 mAh at 5 volts, 2.4 amps. So I'm going to verify the rated capacity. The actual battery capacity is rated at 6700 mAh at 3.6 volts. But I will not be able to verify that. I can verify only the 5 volts output that is a 3500 mAh. So now let's unbox it and see what is there inside. So there is the power bank and charger. There is a user manual and nothing else in the box. So in the box they have not provided any USB cable or USB-C cables. So you have to use your own cables. Let's unwrap the charger power bank so this is a charger power bank it looks very nice the build quality is very good and it has a very premium feel with this charger now let's check the user manual the user manual is as usual in chinese because this two-in-one charger power bank is released only in china right now so it shows the led indicators the usb a port usb c port power button and the ac input and it also shows all the specifications that i have mentioned before and that's it so this is the AC input and it is foldable. So this folding design is quite good for traveling. But if your country's outlet is different from this one, then you can carry an adapter. So you can carry the adapter separately and you can fold it. So this is quite good for a traveling purpose. So as you can see, it has four LED indicators for the battery and it has the USB-A port and the USB-C port. And when we press the power button, it should show the battery level. So it has 75% of charge in this power bank right now and another function that you should note is power button can be used for two purposes one is checking the power level and another one is to activate low power mode when you double press it like this then it will start the low power mode for two hours so you can charge any low power devices like smartwatch or mi band or your earphones and so on so this will enable the charger to be turned on even at the very low power draw or low current draw. So that is quite good and you can press it once to cancel that low power mode. In the normal power mode, you need to draw some amount of current from the power bank to remain active. So that is the reason why they have the low power mode. Now we have to perform the full test of the charger and the power bank. So this is the test setup. I'll be using the DL24 electronic load. This is a 150 watts electronic load with Bluetooth support. So I'll be connecting this to my phone here and we can see the test details here. And I'll also be using this USB-C tester and a trigger and it can detect the modes of the power delivery and uh, other charging protocols. And this is a standard USB meter with a USB load. This is a 2.4 amp USB load. And I'll also be using a power meter for the testing the actual power consumption of the charger. I leave the link to purchase all these test equipments in my video description. You can check it out if you want to purchase any of them. First of all, let's verify the charging protocols that they have specified, whether it is actually available or not. First, I'll verify the power bank protocols. As you can see, it has a 5 volt output currently. Now let's go to the protocol detection of the USB-C port. So it has detected power delivery 3.0 protocol of 18 watts. So that is correct. 
now let's check the usb a output of the power bank so it has detected all these protocols it has qc 2.05 volt 9 volt and 12 volts output so that is uh, correct now let's check the output of the actual charger i'll plug it in it has been plugged in now let's turn it on currently it has started charging the power bank as you can see it is currently charging at 9.1 watts now let's check the output of the usb-c port it says a pd 3.0 45 watts so that is consistent with the specifications and it also has qc2 5 volts 9 volts and 12 volts now let's check the output of the usb-a port so it has a qc 2.05 volts 9 volts and 12 volts output so as you saw all the protocols are correct as per the specifications now let's test the current output of the power supply first i'll be testing the usb-c port i'll be using the dl24 electronic load in combination with the usb trigger here so these are the rated current at the specified voltage i'll verify these specified outputs using the load so let's start with the 5 volts load test so i have set 3 amps here let's start the load test as you can see it is currently drawing 3 amps with no problem so the test has passed now let's go to 9 volts as you can see it has got the 9 volts output here and the current is already at 3 amps so you can turn it on so the current draw is 3 amps as you can see here as well as in the tester so that test has passed now let's go to 12 volts so it has got 12 volts so we have to test 12 volts 3 amps so that is also working now let's go to 15 volts here it says 15 volts 3 amps but the actual specified current is 2.7 amps but let's try whether we can draw 3 amps from this power supply so it can do 3 amps at 15 volts so that has passed the test now let's go to 20 volts at 2.25 amps so i'll set the current to 2.25 amps so i have set the current to 2.25 amps now i'll go to 20 volts so currently it's 20 volts let's test it so it is capable of 2.25 amps at 20 volts so the output capability is confirmed and with this load it should be able to draw 5 volts 1 amp from the usb output let's check that so it is able to do the 50 watts specified power 45 watts on the usb c and the usb a at 5 watts so that is a total of 50 watts now let's turn it off now the charger test is over all the specified outputs are correct so that is quite great the charger is a little bit warm but not hot so it's quite good now we need to perform the output test of the power bank so currently i have connected to the usb c port and it is at 5 volts and it says 2.4 amps that is a specified output let's test it so it's working 2.4 amps at 5 volts next is 9 volts 2 amps so 9 volts 2 amps let's test it so that's working and now let's go to 12 volts 1.5 amps so 12 volts 1.5 amps 1.5 amps is correct and the voltage differences that you saw is because of the cable loss but the current is the same so the actual output of the power bank that is current is correct so that is the important parameter now let's test the output of the usb a port in the case of the usb a port it will be the qc2 trigger so the maximum current draw at 5 volts is 2.4 amps so let's enter it so 2.4 amps let's test it so it's drawing 2.4 amps at 5 volts as you can see here 4.92 volts at the port that's correct the next one will be 9 volts 2 amps so let's test the 9 volts 2 amps so it is 2 amps at 9 volts so that is correct the last one will be 12 volts 1.5 amps 12 volt 1.5 amps i'll test it so it's correct so that was the protocol detection and the current capability test all the specified capacity of the power bank as well as the charger is working so that is great news now the remaining review is to test the battery capacity of the power bank so i have to charge it fully and then i'll test the capacity of the power bank at 5 volts 2.4 amps now as you can see after 20 minutes of charging the power bank has been fully charged the indicator has stopped blinking and the power consumption has dropped to almost zero now it's time to test the capacity of the power bank before that i'll set the current limits to 2.4 amps i'll reset the capacity now let's start the test 5 volts 2.4 amps 
so as you can see the capacity is increasing this is the milliamp hour capacity that we are looking for other parameters may not be accurate but the capacity will be accurate so i have to wait until the power bank cuts off so i'll wait Now the test has been completed it has recorded a final of 4014 milliamp hour that is more than the expected 3500 milliamp hour at 5 volts 2.4 amps and the total discharge time was 1 hour 47 minutes so the power bank has performed very well it has even performed over the actual minimum rating of 3500 milliamp hour but the battery is rated at 6700 milliamp hour at 3.6 volts so this result is expected they have just given a minimum specification so i think this two-in-one charger and power bank is very useful it can be used to charge any laptop of 45 watts using the usb-c port it can charge the compatible apple laptops as well as samsung laptops and any other branded laptops with the usb-c pd charging support but the maximum power will be 45 watts but the 45 watts of laptop charging is possible when you are using the charger but during the power bank usage you can use only a maximum of 18 watts so now the test and the review of the charger and power bank is completed it will be a very good companion for traveling purposes as well so if you want to get one of these you can purchase it from my affiliate links that i have given in the video description if you like the review please subscribe to my channel and please like this video thank you for watching i'll see you next time